Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm basically remaking the video I made five months ago because that video, I got a lot of questions. And so I'm gonna make it clear in this video, which is titled differently, but still kind of the same concept. So we're gonna get all every questions done. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get more videos like these. So we're gonna open up studios. And as you can see, we have our base plate and everything. So if you don't have toolbox, you can just go to home and click toolbox to open up toolbox. I don't think we're gonna be using it in this video, but yeah. <laughs> And so, as you can see over there, it's Explorer Properties and Toolbox. You can do that in view as well if you want. As you can see, my base plate is plain. So, to get for it to not be plain, which I recommend, is click the show grid, then for studs. And I heard some people don't have that on their studios, but I'm sure everyone has it. And so, what that does is show this arrow. And this arrow is kind of important, but if you don't want it, you don't have to get it. It's not a plugin, it's basically already in studios. But yeah. So next we have this plugin, Load Character. And what you do is click Manage Plugins. And you can find this plugin. I'll link it in the description. As you can see, I have two plugins right now. But I'll link both of them in the description. As you can see, so i have this other plugin and you don't really need it i did i did use it in my last video but i don't recommend using it because it's a lot easier to move in blender so next we're just going to click low character and type in your username i'm just going to do me because that's the easiest obviously so it spawns right onto the green arrow and what this does is it will make it stay in place when you go into Blender right in the center. If you don't, then it's going to be all over the place, but that's up to you if you want it. So next, as you can see, I'm on my model section. And this was my last video on my GFX series, which is props. But you can just search up whatever prop. We're not going to use the prop. I'm just showing you guys this prop. And as you can see you can move it around with this plugin or you can use or wait you can click home and use move and you can move it these are two different ways whatever you prefer and we're not going to use it so we're going to delete it so as you can see we have my avatar right onto the arrow so what we're going to do is right click my username go down to export selection and save it into your files don't mind the names of my files i honestly don't know why they're named that but we're just not gonna worry about it so next we're gonna open blender we're gonna do blender render first because that's what most typical users use at first so we're going to click x and delete the cube then we're gonna go to file import and wavefront obj then insert your obj that you saved it in and so it's gray at first as you can see we're gonna delete it i'm going to try to show you what it's like if it, we don't have the arrow i'm not sure <laughs> if i did show you guys but if i didn't then we're just not gonna worry about it and as you can see, it spawned exactly in the same place. And I just deleted it. I got frustrated because it wasn't spawning all over the place for other people that did say that in my last video. And as you can see, I'm attempting it again, but it obviously didn't work because it just spawned in the same spot in the middle. And I didn't have the arrow, but we're just not going to worry about that. And we're just gonna move on because 
I'm just getting frustrated with this now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna re-import my OBJ because I got rid of it before. And as you can see down there, we are only going to use these on top and that sidebar and then the down the things down at the bottom. So yeah. <laughs> and to move around we just use shift and F. And so as you can see, we're in Blender render. And we're going to click that small snowball thing. We're going to click material. As you can see, our character is darker. And all we need to do is fix that is click lamp and then we're going to click that little light thing. Then we're going to remove specular and then hit hemi. And then that gives you light and you could just move it, the lighting if you want, but we're not going to worry about that because we're just going to do this for beginners. <laughs> and you don't have to move the lighting if you don't want to, but... I mean, if you do, you can, but I'm not. And so, as you can see, a lot of people like to ask me, how do you get your whole head and your accessories to move at the same time? What we do is we right click, hold shift, and click every accessory, then go to the side and go to origin to geometry and click join. And another way to do this is just click shift control alt and c and then click origin to geometry and that gives you to get to move everything that's just two ways to do it and so if you want to do it that way you can but if you want to move it yourself you also can as you can see we're going to get into <laughs> bending and so what we're gonna do is click edit mode subdivide four times remove doubles and remove auto smooth then we're gonna click Z then hold control and drag your mouse and when you drag your mouse it creates this yellow line if you don't like it you can just right click and then redrag to your liking and when you're done with that you can just change back to material with that little snowball and right here I'm just using the rotating tool and the moving tool to move my limb and as you can see there's this huge black line which I don't like so how I'm going to fix that is to move it a bit forward but I want to get rid of that dark shadow so it doesn't create that dark line on um, our arm. As you can see, I still don't like that. So I readjusted it and I just dragged it down a little. You don't have to do it if you like it that way, but I personally don't. As you can see, my limb is bent. And I'm going to do the same with this other arm. So we're just doing the exact same thing. And it's basically really easy. So obviously this time I forgot to remove auto smooth as you can see on the side. And this bend a lot of GFX artists like to use. And as you can see I just removed auto smooth and I just redid everything and this bend is typically one of the most popular I guess because a lot of GFX artists on Instagram they like to do this bend I honestly don't know why I don't really use it that much but if it if they prefer it they prefer it and as you can see I have my arm <laughs> bent so what I'm doing is showing you guys the waving pose that's also really popular. And I just flipped it around. You can do it this way too, but you can also just flip the arm then bend. But <laughs> it doesn't really matter how you do it. As long as you get the pose you want, that's 
all that matters at the end of the day. So as you can see, I'm just tilting my head that I just showed you, you guys how to do earlier to connect all the accessories. So we're going to get into rendering. So we're going to click view, then camera. We're going to use shift F to move. And then in this rectangle, you can just move it to your liking. Whatever's in the rectangle is what you're rendering. As you can see, I'm moving the lighting. You don't have to, but I did. And that didn't really change anything. So we're going to scroll down and hit shading. Then click sky and change it to transparent. If you want a gray background, you can. You just don't have to change it. If you want it transparent, then we're going to change it to transparent. So we're going to render. I just showed you guys what it looks like. And a lot of GFX artists like to change the resolution to 10,000. 10,000. I personally don't like that because it will take forever to render. The way you leave it, it's going to take so fast, like it's not even like a minute. And when you edit it, you can just edit into a square. So now we're just going to save it. You just click image and then save as and then save into your file. Now I'm going to show you how to do cycles render. So. We're going to click X and delete. As you can see, I just made the mistake a lot of people did during my custom hair video, which is not switching cycles render before we import the OBJ. So you have to change it to cycles render before you import. That's a very important step when you use cycles render or it will not work. So this one's a bit different and this is also included in my casting shadow video which makes it a realistic shadow so as you can see when we change the snowball to material it's already lightened up it's not dark we don't have to fix anything so as you can see everything's light up and because we are in cycles render but it will be different when we render it. So we're not gonna worry about that until the end. As you can see, I'm already getting my render ready. So I'm just showing you guys what it looks like beforehand. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, well, I just moved the lighting, but you're gonna scroll down, then change the exposure to 10. That's the best lighting for cycles render. Then we're going to click transparent if you want transparent and we're going to click render. As you can see, there is a light on the left side of the face and there's a shadow on the right side. And that's because the light was shining towards that left side. And so if I moved it to the right, it would be shining on the right. But we're not going to worry about that. So as you can see. I'm lifting up the limb to show you guys the shadow in the cycles render. As you can see, I just clicked render and it creates a shadow on the left because the arm is blocking it and it's blocking the light from the face, which gives it a shadow. And I think you guys already noticed that this takes a little longer to render than blender render but i personally like cycles render more than blender render because it does make the gfx more realistic and i just saved it it's the same thing from before so that's it for today and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to join my robux giveaway it will be linked in the description everything you need will be linked in the description and I'll link my whole series in the description and I hope you guys actually understood everything in this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!